fiscal. Whatever is the Mauryan, whatever it is, part of it, it possesses lustre. So, ego is saved. Is it? Uh, it is far better. Far better. Please carry on. Okay, okay. Now <laughs> she has uh, set newly. Uh, so, just you see, whatever is Mauryan art, object art and architecture, sculpture, etc. Uh, it possesses luster on its surface, but uh, it is called as polish, which I don't like. I prefer to use the words brightness, luster. It is not simply gloss. It is something which is from the other side of the uh, sculpture or the architecture. So it is not glossing, it is not polish. We have to understand any, what I want to say that like a person, he has something like Atma, something inner we have. So these sculptures and architecture, they have their inside this lustre which comes out. So with this view I have studied the uh, polish of lustre, the people uh, whatever they call and uh, how it is to be known and I will give the examples and uh, the references also next. You see there is very apt uh, uh, expression like something cut mark on metal. If any metal is given a cut mark, and how the lecture comes out of it. In the same way, the jewels, money, when those are cut, and then a fresh lecture which we find, that I mention here. Now I will show a few slides continuously so that we must be familiar with the lecture, with the uh, any whatsoever, uh, any the polish that is other people. So I am just uh, moving one by one, just it is to show and the audience to familiar that uh, what is inside the sculpture which is coming out in form of lecture. You see all these, I don't name all, all, all the where it is uh, um, because everybody knows uh, these are the objects.
sir there is there is some uh, problem audio issue sir hello yeah dr sunil sir ha ah, there, there is no audio sir mm -hmm. वो म्यूट में है उनको अनम्यूट करिए म्यूट हो गए हैं नाउ ही ही इज अनम्यूट यस नाउ करेक्ट जी यस यस नाउ दिस इज द वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फोटोग्राफ वेयर फ्रॉम बराबर नागार्जुनी दैट शी ए मंक इज स्टैंडिंग देयर and his image is from the wow and it just uh, any what a skill was at that time how how uh, they produced the whole of the architecture of that with with the, with that shining with that lustre and a person is as as if seeing in the mirror and you see i will give the reference in 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 our own ancient literature this type of surface is called as adarsh talopam adarsh means the mirror the the tal the surface like that of a mirror so and is such a high skill now i mention these two scholars because they have studied a great to this this problem professor asudev sharan agrawal he was in banaras hindu university he was in the department of uh, at that time known as art and architecture in that very department i also belong and i have been with uh, vasudev sharan agrawal ji for many years and he he had given uh, i will give the uh, the text later on the indian text showing that it was it was this which is described in the text that we see in the sculptures and uh, bharat la jaiswali Kashi Prasad Daswal from Patna. He has edited Hathi Gunpa inscription, and in that inscription, there is a mention of a pillar, which was made as shining, as shining, as jewels cut, and it is mentioned in the inscription itself. so these words we should adopt the art historians must take these words to their descriptions which has yet not been done now a few more uh, shining pillars inscriptions yes next yes this this these are the uh, so please sir screen yeah. share kar dijiye sir screen share kar dijiye sir ppt ppt is not coming sir it's just ha check ppt does it come 
डू यू सी नहीं सर अभी नहीं नॉट येट अरे ये अपने से ही क्यों हो जा रहा शेयर स्क्रीन प्रेस कर देंगे सर एक्चुअली आई एम ऑलरेडी शेयरिंग द स्क्रीन ओके आई ट्राई अगेन या अर्जर इट वाज वेरी मच विजिबल बट सिंस लास्ट अ फ्यू मिनट्स यू नो देयर इज नो स्क्रीन ओके हम्म हम्म Yes, sir. All right. Yes, sir. Uh, please keep it in presentation mode. F five press कर दें. Yeah, yeah. Yes, Some wonderful. Time. Thank you. Thank you, yeah. sir. Is it complete? No. So uh, a few more uh, examples. Uh, shining. These are the pillars. This is from Delhi. Uh, this is from uh, the left side from Hisar, uh, Fatahabad, and this is the Hisar pillar. The upper part is uh, with the chair, and uh, the right side to me is the Sanchi pillar. and how lesser any still but but uh, uh, these things should be protected it is open there anybody may do any harm to all these it is already harmed <laughs> there is a, a mystery and history for how how it was broken and these are the some of the inscriptions i i present even the 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 uh, the place where ashok has inscribed uh, that also is made uh, and then it is now i i i show you uh, this picture of ashok himself and it is from sannati so it is just uh, and we are discussing ashok and his works so Uh, i i i thought it should be better if we also see ashok in our sculptures there are three places where ashok has been depicted the one is uh, at bharhu the second is uh, sanchi and this is from sannati it is the uh, any uh, later uh, it has been found and those two sites were earlier now you see uh, how these uh, inscriptions are mauryan art uh, it it uh, attracted the persians it it was feroz shah uh, just you see in the 14th century he he brought three rather he he was interested in three uh, ashokan pillars one from merit the from uh, ambala and the third one uh, itself from hisar and uh, in hisar he he constructed his dur uh, and it is uh, and a part of that is in patha so these uh, three he was interested in the 17th 17th century william flint when he came india uh, he saw it he has uh, written about it and then later on tf anthler in the 18th century and lastly it was alexander
enthusiastically and he he compiled the uh, I mean, the, now I to the basic basic of historians everywhere have written that uh, this luster of art in art objects is not Indian. It is. It is. Uh, a, it has a foreign uh, origin, and this was with the whim of the John Marshall, the director, archaeology. This was the page uh, which was uh, included in the Cambridge History of India, a very big, uh, uh, and it, we should say a very, very important publication of that time in 1922. And here he has written, I will just show in the next slide, and he says that the it is not the, the work is not of Indians, it is from Persia, from outside. And he has tried to say in his words how 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 it is so, how it is so like that. So I declare this page as the black page of Indian history for art. At least for arts, there are so many other things also in that book which we don't agree to uh, to follow, to agree with that, or uh, many things are there. But this, uh, any vehemently he has written that it is not India. How 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 he he speaks about it? It is very. You see, in this black page, page number 21, just a few lines which I have underlined here, and he, uh, from Persia, again, the craftsmen of Ashok learned how to give a lecture to, to these stones. And he had been deliberately in a, making this statement. And I, I feel very sorry to say that uh, uh, even after the evidences which Professor V. S. Agrawal have brought to light. Nobody is following that it is not foreign. It, it is not uh, 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 done outside and it was borrowed or it was followed in India. But since they were of a notion, they were to say all these things to Indian history and uh, our culture. So they have uh, and made such a statement. Now this is the example for that. This stone is put at Sarnath in Varanasi and he or whosoever has written this in the present day he also says the same thing. That it is said that the lecture So all these things should be correct. We should follow the actual things what it is or what it was. And there is nothing short of a debt owing to Achaemenians. This is, a, these are the quotations from <laughs> Mr. 
मौके अंशुंगा आठ दे निहार रंजन रे रेज वर्क एंड निहार रंजन रे व्हेन ही रोड दिस बुक ही ही हैज ट्राइड टू टू शो दैट दे मेकिंग ऑफ पिलर्स एंड एस्टैब्लिशिंग ऑफ पिलर्स विच ऑल हैज बीन हैज बीन said by uh, english people that it is all in the follow of the persian art but he has proved from the vedic uh, uh, mantras uh, another uh, other sort of literature that no this this part is wrong and uh, uh, indians uh, always they have put uh, pillars whenever they do yagyas and uh, and all other sacrifices even till today uh, we 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 first establish a dhwaja when we do something religious so all this he said but he could not dare to say that it is not a debt on part of india he he has made this uh, uh, expression two times in in his book but uh, uh, but uh, it is not the fault of uh, nihar babu because uh, no no texts were available at that time which uh, professor v s agrawal vasudev shan agrawal uh, gave us in later days yeah now see from where the lustrous polish mentioned in in the book mentioned in as been used by people of ancient india is referred to so there is a bout the jatak maha ummag jatak a palace is described there apastam sautra shrauta sutra this is the jain text very clearly it says shlakshani karnaiha shlakshani kurvanti and the same same type things are also in other Uh, uh, text other stalopam i have referred earlier also now you see shlakshani karnai but to perform to to do lustrous a, a, a thing making lustrous and shlakshani kurvanti doing that that is there 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 is a reference in this that people were doing it sir they were under work theek hai huh? is it all right somebody has message uh, yes but uh, you are properly audible and okay, we are able okay. to watch okay okay Yeah. so i i find here in this uh, part of uh, sanskrit stanza that uh, people are referring to the way or technique or the method how it was done and uh, Uh, professor rajdeshan agrawal when he quoted all these things he was simply saying that it is mentioned in the uh, a text and so earlier he also has followed in one of his article he followed the same what john marshall uh, has written but later on when he published his uh, uh, chakradwaj at that time he changed his view and he has given all these references 
in, in that book. But still he only says that uh, this is mentioned in our book. So we should say that it is ours. Now I will examine and will uh, show to you that how this is done, not only in the uh, times of uh, uh, Jain, Jain, Jain religion, uh, that is say about uh, 6th century uh, BC or the Buddhist uh, uh, scriptures, 6th century BC, 6th, 4th, 3rd uh, centuries. Rather, it, it, is, it, it has a start with the Vedic literature. I will just show the, the references there. And since the Kurvanti Shabd is there, this word is there, Kurvanti, it, it, uh, it uh, indicates the working. And so there is a technique. And that technique, we should any vehemently say that the technique was known to Indians. It was not borrowed from Persia or anywhere else. Huh? Ah, yeah. Now, the, a few which, which explain the, uh, the, the, it did not only explain the Russia, but in the own uh, tradition, a long tradition. That's why we are using uh, different types of technical terms. You just see from what I have two words here Deepta Vaishwa Nara Prabhan like fire Agni Pradeepta Agni any just you see it, it, it is in the description of a uh, of a cave in, in uh, Valmiki Ramayana so the architecture is related with these words. And the other word, Vibhrajamana, shiny. Not only lustrous, but shiny. The luster goes out also. So all these uh, words, Age uh, uh, Yeah. Now you see. There are a number of words, the technical terms, which I have found from the scriptures, from ancient books. But here, nothing is mentioned from the Vedic literature. Because I also did not find, uh, rather I was not known. So, when I collected these all, uh, more than what uh, Professor V.S. Agrawal did, or some other people also have mentioned, like the Jain, Jain, uh, Jain scholars. But by that time, it is about 20 to 30 terms, which we know now. But now I move to the Vedic references. Here also the same, a few I have brought in a bigger form so that the audience could see it. Prabha, Bhaj, Braj, Deepta, Divya, Manimaya, Jvalamana, uh, Sita, Taijasa, Varchasa, Vaidurya Garbha. This is, this is the term what uh, uh, Hathi Gumpha inscription, Karvel himself has used it. Shlakshana. So, 
out of these many many terms actually the technique or the technical thing relates with two words vaidurya garbha and slakshana vaidurya garbha i have already discussed the dual if it is cut beril the cut of the beril whatever we see that is referred there for the four faces of a pillar and you see what was the cost at that time 75000 panas were spent for one pillar so how costly this was it was the king like uh, ashok himself with a vast area under him that he did all these things later on it was not possible by others having the uh, meager part of uh, earth to be ring so you see before uh, ashok these are the north uh, uh, black polished wares these were made these were prepared and a lecture is given to and many other things also we may say from archaeology we get even a slip which is put on a pot and it is uh, uh, it is uh, finally uh, brought out out of the fire so that also glows so the things were in our practice for this only i have just uh, referred it shlakshmi karanaya and shlakshmi korovan now you see there was a word that is also a technical word i i was uh, very much fond to get a few words from ashok himself but it was very difficult in early times but now i have taken two words especially you see there are words like divya divyani rupani there is one word sarva seto hasti seto means shwet the white but both the words have meaning with the abha that is prakashman the lustre the glow in such the, the word is himself divya divya means something which is which is giving rays out of it divya and sarva shwet shwet doesn't mean only white color shwet is the same as glow now for that i have given two examples for you that uh, when uh, uh, buddha was to be uh, to have conceived by uh, his mother maya there is a story that a white elephant came from uh, from uh, from swarga whatever the place it is chanted and you see the white elephant is here here it coming down and it is in a prabha this round 
means it was vibrant light. And the same, this is from Gandhar art, and the same theme we find in Bharat. And in Bharat, the theme is extended. It is not only the, the elephant, but the whole environment of the room that was vibrant. That was with the rays. So we have to, to learn what actually the, the artist, the writer, the Rishi, what he wants. something in the same way I was Hello. Hello. Yes. There's some network problem, I guess. Yes, yes. He got disconnected, but uh, trying to reconnect. Ha 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 ha. So I was discussing about the. Yes? Okay, it is? Yes, good. Please carry on. It is very fine. Ah, ah, take it. Take it. Take it. Now, in the first, uh, in, in the first uh, uh, part of the drama, the first act, yes, the and, and the, the, there is a 14th number of shlok where it is mentioned. The, the line runs like this. Now there is a reference of polished stone. And uh, uh, any, th this is not the, I, I don't say that uh, it is the words of uh, Kalidas. Actually, these are the words of the king himself. So a king is saying, written by Kalidas, no doubt, and Kalidas is also knowing at the, the thing. And he mentions that in, in earlier period also it was done so. That's why he is referring. So he refers to the upala, that is the stone, and 
it is parisnigd it is very smooth and if it is smooth it is shiny and how it is done it is done with the use of the approach of ingudi i have given the young ingudi fruits flowers tree and all those things and the big big trees of ingudi because anybody could say that these these small fruits how much they they would have used to uh, make a, a wall itself uh, to uh, to burnish uh, so i have given that it is not a very when a, a small shrub these are the trees and it is fully uh, uh, flowered and uh, uh, and fruits we find so now i am more interested in interpreting this king dushyant is approaching to converse ashra and he mentions that you see the ingudi fruits are hammered and due to hammering on those whatever the oil is uh, is coming out and whatever the hammering is just pressing these stones these stones become prasnigdh and especially snigdh so here snigdh is very important it is uh, uh, say uh, uh, slipping that is very uh, soft and oil is soaked with the stones so this is the this, this indicates the method this indicates which was used how the oil of a certain uh, certain tree it was used and how this was prepared how the oil was taken out and and it is uh, it is very clear to me at least okay it was done and there are references in ramayan mahabharat in shushrut it is also a medicinal plant and uh, uh, even it is mentioned that the oil is used for lighting land so so it was in in process it was the the, the method was in process for other purposes also it was done it was not only done for the for the stone to shine it was made to uh, to local use also so there was a technique and this technique that is taking the oil and putting to the stones rubbing with that the polish which is called the luster becomes like that of a vaidurya garbha so so this is what i i see that uh, uh, these words say and it is a, a sentence uttered by a king so he must be knowing the technology in that time in those days prior to kalidas and even we could easily say that continuing up to the kalidas because later on and no no such uh, such a graceful uh, uh, 
figures are found. There are certain, but seldom. Here and there. And the people also shifted to shining uh, stones. The, the sculpture made in a shining stone. So many there are. I have collected many. But uh, I'm not discussing that here. So, so earlier to Kalidas and earlier to Ashok and even earlier to Lord Buddha or Jain Mahavir. There are references. Now I will show you how this Snigdha, Shlakshana and Shlakshana this, this terminology we, we or our ancient rishis knew it. So this, this is the very important which, uh, which uh, now we have from Shakuntala and uh, uh, now I will move to the earlier uh, text where we find Snigdha Shlakshani or Shlakshana. So there is a to in that. Now I will is about uh, 11 15 minutes. so i will not take much of time because uh, the uh, next speaker also uh, be ready so i have given i i, I show only the things what i have collected and i have found so these are the references of those three words and uh, uh, I will simply show the slides that many many uh, I have uh, any collected in Raghuvansh also in Padma Puran also Abhigyan Shakuntalam uh, I have discussed uh, and this is what is this? Uh, uh, someone. So, so many texts uh, I have. Uh, uh. So you see, these are the for snigd and just the reference I. Find in Atharva Veda. Just you see the, in the how old and how regu regularly we find this. So it is it is a terminology which was known to everyone and related technology also should have been known. Now. I am not uh, any, uh, mentioning each one, but a few, you see, Shlakshana. Shlakshana is mentioned up to the Rig Veda and uh, uh, Atharvaveda and Rig Veda. Not in proper Rig Veda, but in the Khila Sukta. There are mentioned, I have given here, so the terms we find in the Buddhist times, in the Jain uh, literature, and in our uh, Sanskrit uh, uh, texts, they come since the times of the Vedas. See, this is Atharva Veda. The two mantras I have quoted, Shlakshana, the, the word is there, and the meaning is also there, and it is also uh, in a tradition, the Tailiya Padarth is mentioned, 
and it is found out of the Taliya Padat, and I consider that uh, it was the Ingudi, preferably Ingudi. There may have been other oils also. So these are the references, and not uh, uh, many. But uh, you see, the other reference is very, very important for me and you also. That this uh, snigd, this uh, lascha, all these, which is imbibed in the word shlakshna, and how it comes, how this word has been adopted. There is a reference in the lower part of my uh, showing to you the, the slide. There is a, a vulcan known as the Pungi Phalam, the, uh, the, the uh, tree which uh, gives Pug Phal. Pungi Phalam, ne? Pug Phal. So, a, a vulcan, shining vulcan. And the other word is shak. Shak is the snake. And the skin of the snake. And you see, it is a snake, it is red, chamak kusme hai, glossy nahi hai. It is with, with his body itself. It is nothing put from the outside. So the whatever the Mauryan sculptures or structures were made, the the luster was not from outside. It was so prepared. The technology was so nice, so good, so evolved that the brightness goes inside the stone and thus it is it was prepared and nobody could say that the the luster is outside the luster comes from inside the stone so all these things we have uh, uh, i think this is the last so Ah, yes, these, these are the uh, Vedic references. This is the last slide. And uh, uh, thank you all to be with us. Yeah. Yes, if there are any questions. Uh, dear friend, your voice is not clear. Please speak with it loud so that uh, Gurudev Professor Pandeji can answer your query. Yes. Yes, please. Welcome. I have one question. मेरा नाम yes. सचिन है uh, yes. हमारा था टॉपिक रिव्यू ऑफ मॉरियन इरा पॉलिश एंड आपने बताना चाहा था कि एक पॉइंट पे 